Hello everybody, McGregor here and welcome back to another video of Nimbatus and today I wanted to show you another uh, drone. But this isn't just one drone, no! It's two, three, four drones! <laughs> so yeah, so this is kind of um, a snake-like uh, drone. I called it the Viper and if you notice I have decouplers on each section so that I can actually separate them kind of like my other drone. Um, but uh, yeah, this one here is to actually get the core. Uh, it has the spinning flame turret at the butt. And it has some lasers here. It has sensors to detect the ground. And the uh, directional sensor. And a couple of guns here to destroy the core. So I found the flamethrowers didn't do too, too much, if at all. So I haven't been watching them too much, but these do a good enough job. Then, oh yeah, and spark throwers on the side just to make sure that there, if there's enemies trying to flank us, we can murder them. Uh, the next section, these two are a complete copy. Uh, we got some lasers in the front, and then we got the spark throwers here, and then my little EMP bullet guns here on motorized hinge. Th this vehicle was more of a test than anything. I wanted to see how well. Um, the rotating guns worked on the inside of a vessel instead of the out like I've done here. Uh, kind of like my last build. I, I had them out. This time I wanted to try them in. I also have the, the couplers here and here uh, because I'm in control of these thrusters. Um, and when I decouple, I don't want to be affecting the flight path of these drones, so I just take them off and I put in spikes just to make them a little bit more dangerous um, I wish I could put in like a self-destruct thing but I don't think there is anything like that at least not that I've seen um, I also wish these logic splitters I can say let certain button presses through like I would love like I'd love to put in um, like like W through this or uh, my decoupler button but as far as I know you can't do that but anyways so yeah and these have these decouplers here so when this goes boop, then these fly off same here and the main craft and the, the well the main drone now the main drone uh, the one unique thing about this I want to also try was some motorized hinges that kind of go back and forth and that's what these do these uh, plasma long beam lasers they they go back and forth they're not that effective but they look kind of cool so once again just wanted to proof of concept just wanted to try some stuff out and I got some spark throwers on the side and got a whole bunch of plasma long beam lasers and EMP bullet gun with cluster bullets I love those but yeah, that is it. I had another uh, drone in the center here that when I let go, it spun and started murdering things all over the place. But I was having problems with it in the train. It worked on its own. It did not work very well here. So I'd have to, I'll have to redesign it. But uh, I wanted to show you guys what I had here. Um, the only problem with this craft is it's kind of hard to fly when um, when you're under heavy gravity um, I think I might add in some of these distance sensors here and here uh, just to help out uh, kind of balance it out but I you can still pilot it it's just a little bit like I said hard and I don't have control over any of these guns these guns just shoot as soon as we start the map they shoot so let's see this thing in action oh before I do Let's just do a quick test flight. I'm gonna show you, let's turn on gravity. So we're just flying around and I'll decouple that. Go. And I'll fly. Woo! And let us do two. We got the, one of the body parts flying away. And then three. And we got another one. That's basically how it works. So let me save and exit, and let's try out this map. And yeah, it's called the Viper. 
because it's like a snake. And we're done. And let's fly. So as you can see, yeah, kind of sweep back and forth. You see how um, I'm not fast enough. Oh wow, you just a transmitter. I'm not fast enough to raise up my butt. As long as we fly high enough, it shouldn't really affect it. So let us drop it. Go. We've dropped our butt. <laughs> yeah, let's drop that and let's drop this one here. There we go. So now we're only ahead. Did I drop you in a good spot? Sometimes it's hard to tell. Yeah, yeah, you're going down. And yeah, those those missiles, <laughs> they'll stay there forever. Unless if they, uh, one of those, um, uh, enemy units uh, destroy them. But they don't, they only really target your core, not, not your parts, so. Oh. Let's just wait for the... Hive, mother hive to die. Um, another, one other thing I could improve on, uh, at least with one of the sections, is I could it, I could put in directional sensors, even on this craft, just to keep everything balanced, like I did. There we go. Like I did with the um, with my other uh, design. It take a while to die. There you go. Let's go down to the core. This thing's heavy. Rocket, rocket. And there's, there's our other little baby. Now. Yeah, I, I, oh, I think over there. Yeah, yeah, the, the, those need directional sensors. It helped them out so much, so much more. Uh, I just, I should just really pick a direction and just stick with it. <laughs> I didn't put one on because I wanted to be able to flip around and all that, but I think, um, I think next time I will put on directional sensors. But uh, yeah, anyways, that's gonna be it for this video. I just wanted to quickly showcase the Viper. Um, I am still currently in the process of moving. Uh, I decided to take a break and do a little quick uh, two, three hour <laughs> build of this thing. And oh, I lost my side, uh, side lasers. Yeah, I, I wanted to do, um, I wanted to play this a little bit more because I do enjoy the game. But uh, when I am able to, if you guys want, some of you have expressed interest, I might start doing some tutorials on this game. Um, I feel like I have a fairly good understanding of it. But uh, yeah, anyways, let us hit this, see what we get. MP, flames, less particle speed speed so I'm wondering if that does a lot of damage close up because there's a lot of particles in one area hmm hmm I'll have to test that out but yeah anyways guys that's gonna be it for this video of Nimbatus I hope you guys enjoyed if you have enjoyed don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you're not already subscribed and uh yeah i'll see what i once again i'll see what i can do on tutorials and hopefully when i get back i can get all that done for you guys so yeah thank you all so much for watching bye bye <laughs> see you next time